Moscow has raised questions surrounding the circumstances of Colonel Gaddafi's death. Russia's Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov says NATO's role in the incident should face scrutiny, along with the alliance's entire mission in Libya. Well, let's get more on this from our correspondent Igor Okiskanov. He's joining us live there in Moscow. So I understand some tough statements coming from Russia's Foreign Minister criticizing the actions of the alliance there in Libya. Well, Foreign Minister Lavrov said that Muammar Gaddafi's regime has long lost its legitimacy, but Moscow will be pushing for an international investigation to be held, looking into the circumstances of uh, Muammar Gaddafi's death, since, uh, according to Lavrov, the videos uh, published and spread across the world from Libya show that uh, the international law may have been violated, since uh, Lavrov says there are various international uh, human rights conventions, including the Geneva Convention, which clearly state that all prisoners of war have to be dealt with special attention, have to be provided with medical aid if they are in need of it. And uh, these videos uh, don't really show if Muammar Gaddafi was uh, given this necessary assistance. Russia also says that it will be pushing for an international investigation looking into uh, NATO's role in this uh, entire operation as well. The footage shown on TV proves that he was captured alive and wounded, and after that he was killed. Later there were reports that a convoy carrying the colonel was attacked by NATO planes, and after that the rebels captured members of that convoy. But it has been repeated numerous times that NATO planes only have a UN mandate to ensure a no-fly zone over Libya, and the convoy wasn't posing any threat to civilians on the ground and couldn't be a legitimate target. So NATO actions pose a number of questions as well. Alliance members also stressed that when they began the campaign in Libya, the goal was to protect civilians and not to get rid of Gaddafi. But now they're saying different things, saying they've achieved their goal in Libya, although the UN Security Council never set out with such goals. It's not only Russia, but the United Nations uh, also wants to see uh, an investigation to be held looking into the circumstances of Gaddafi's death. Uh, there are several versions and uh, really lots of questions at the moment into how it really happened. According to some reports, Gaddafi was wounded uh, after he was captured by the rebel forces. Other reports suggest he was uh, wounded before that and died after of these wounds. Some reports suggest that he was lynched by an angered mob of uh, rebels. And uh, some, uh, there's also information that Gaddafi may have been killed by his own personal bodyguard, sort of a, as a last sign of respect to his boss. So definitely there are lots of uh, questions at the moment which need answering. Uh, but Russia also says that it will be uh, closely monitoring, watching how the situation unfolds in Libya now, hoping that the new authorities will be able to build a proper, effective uh, political system in the country and finally bring peace to the Libyan people. Thanks very much indeed. Yegor Piskanov talking to us live there in Moscow.